I welcome all of you for MSc videos. It's time to learn. We are discussing about 2D transformation. So changing the object's orientation, size or shape is defined as a 2D transformation. So there are translation, scaling, rotation, sh reflection, shearing are types of transformation. Now we are going to discuss about scaling. Changing the size of an object is defined as a scaling. You can increase the size or you can decrease the size. To perform scaling, we need scaling vectors Sx and Sy. If the scaling vectors values are greater than 1, then the object size is increased. If Sx and Sy values are less than 1, the object size decreased. If it is equal to 1 means then no need to perform scaling because there will be no change in the object size. Scaling vector is needed. Sx equal to scale value in x axis and Sy equal to scale value in y axis. Initial position is x comma y. After scaling it is x dash comma y dash. So x dash equal to x into Sx and y dash equal to y into Sy. So original point is x comma y. Scaling vector is Sx Sy and scaled point is x dash comma y dash. So this is the formula for performing scaling p dash equal to s into p. This is a matrix representation. So x dash y dash equal to Sx 0 0 Sy into Xy. So which means that x dash equal to x into Sx and y dash equal to y into Sy. Let's discuss an ex example for that. Consider a square 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2. So for a square, the four points are given, four vertices are given. You want to connect those vertices, that's enough. And perform scaling with respect to 2 comma 2. So scaling vector values are greater than 1. So obviously you can say that the square size will be increased. <laughs> so Sx equal to 2 and Sy is also 2. We know the formula for performing scaling, P dash equal to S into P. This is a matrix representation. This is the original location of the square. So here the points are continuous. If the points are not continuous also, you have to connect these four points, then you will get the proper square. Now we will perform a scaling. P dash equal to S into P1. So you apply the values X1, Y1 is 1 comma 1, the value is 2 comma 2. And P2, X2 comma Y2 is 1 comma 2, so the value is 2 comma 4. X3 comma Y3 is 2 comma 1, here the value is 4 comma 2. And x4 comma y4 is 2 comma 2. So here the value is 4 comma 4. Now this is a scaled value. Now p1 dash, p2 dash, p3 dash and p4 dash. Here the size of the square is increased. Then there is another one type of scaling is there. It is we are saying as a fixed point scaling. With respect to any one of the fixed point you can perform scaling. Normally if you are performing scaling means the object size it may be just increased or decreased. But if it is a fixed point, with respect to any one of the point, the size may be increased or decreased. So we need a fixed point xf, yf. With respect to this point, you are going to perform scaling. So there is a formula for performing fixed point scaling. x dash equal to x into sx plus xf into 1 minus sx and y dash equal to y into sy plus yf into 1 minus sy. So let's discuss an example for this. Consider a square 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 2, 4, 4. And perform normal scaling and fixed point scaling with 3, 3 and with the scaling factor 2, 2. So we want to perform both the scalings, normal scaling as well as fixed point scaling with the scaling factor 2, 2. So obviously the size of the square must be increased. So Sx equal to 2 and Sy is also 2 and Xf is 3 and Yf is also 3. Let's perform normal scaling. So after performing that, we are getting these values. So you just go through the formulas and then you will get this value. Now here you see, initially a square is located. Now the square is uh, scaled. You are getting this square. If you want to perform fixed point scaling, we need this xf and oef. Already we got this values 3 comma 3. We apply this formula and there so these are the constant value directly you multiply these value because we want to use these values inside, inside the formula xf into 1 minus sx where with respect of this x and y value you will get this constant value so you you identify these value you can directly use those values so x into sx 
plus xf into 1 minus sx so directly you can use those values so I am getting a new values p1 p dash and then I am getting 1 comma 1 1 comma 5 5 comma 1 and then 5 comma 5 now here you see with respect to the point f it is 3 comma 3 now uh, uh, square is scaled that's the difference between a normal scaling and then a fixer point scaling thank you for watching keep on visiting my channel thank you